Welcome back friends. Today we are going to continue with our topic of subject matter and today I am going to start a new part which is immiscible liquids and steam distillation. So kwa wale ambao walikuwa hawapo pamoja nami kwenye soft examples hasa tunaanza pamoja kuhusu steam distillation. Uh, steam distillation is a technique technique used for purification of organic liquids. Kama bafu tenda kuona kumbere, tuwanze kwanza na introduction to steam distillation. So tunasema ni immiscible liquids with steam distillation kwa sababu steam distillation lazima tu tunafanya kwa liquid ambazo ni immiscible with water. Most often tunafanya purification for organic liquids and these organic liquids they immiscible with water. So because they immiscible with water, tunawezi kwa zifanyia steam distillation. Kivipi, tenda kuona. So immiscible liquids are those liquids which do not mix to give a single phase solution. Example ni oil pamoja na water. Oil ni organic compound, ni organic liquid. Most of the organic liquids they are immiscible with water. Now, tuangalie kuhusu total vapor pressure of the immiscible mixture. Kama ambavyo tumesoma kwenye moja kati ya soft example kwamba kwenye immiscible mixture the total vapor pressure because they do not mix so the total vapor pressure would be equal to the vapor pressure of the pure liquids because they do not mix so immiscible mixtures or solution each component exerts vapor pressure independently of the of the other so if we have two components a and b eh, component a tend to exert a vapor pressure independent of the component b Thus, A and B are immiscible with their respective pressures of the component P0 and B respectively. Then, partial pressure in the mixture remain unchanged. Kwa hiyo kama tuna A na B, na partial pressure of A ni P0 of A, and uh, partial, I mean pure vapor pressure of A is P0 of A, and pure vapor pressure of B is P0 of B. In the liquids also, their uh, vapor pressure will not change. Why? It is because there is no more fluxion. Every liquid in exists as it is, they do not mix. I explained this in solved examples in the previous session. So assuming that the mixture is being agitated, the mixture is being agitated, then both of the liquids will be in equilibrium with the vapor. Kwa hiyo, kama ukiboiri mixture, ukiboiri mixture, utakuta kwamba kila liquid itakuwa in equilibrium with its vapor kila liquid itakuwa ni equilibrium with its vapor so the total vapor pressure is simply the sum of the individual pure vapor pressure total vapor pressure ni sum of the individual pure vapor pressure ko pressure total is equal to pressure of a plus pressure not of b pressure not of a plus pressure not of b for example phenyl amine and water can be treated as they were immiscible completely at 98 degree Celsius. Then the saturated vapor pressure of pure liquids, eh, phenyl amine ni 7.07 .07, and water is 94.3 kilopascals. The total vapor pressure of the of an agitated mixture, itakuwa ni ngapi, would just be the sum of the two liquids. Niyo tisina 9.3 kujumlisha 7.07. If you add, you will get the sum 101.37 kilopascals. Unaona, hiyo ni total vapor pressure of the uh, mixture. Sasa basi tuone, boiling point ya hii mixture itakuwa hii. Boiling point ya hii mixture. Kumbuka hapa tuko kwenye 98 degree Celsius. Na vapor pressure ya fenayi ama ini pamoja na water kwenye hiyo temperature ni hizo hapa. Situmpata miyamoja na moja point tatu saba. Ya moja na moja point tatu saba. Hasa nacho kisema ni kwamba about the boiling point. Tunazama kwamba. Eh, Kusu boiling point ya mixture. Tunafahamu kwamba ene liquidi huwa ina boil. Endapo vapor pressure hake imefikia sasana atmospheric pressure. Liquids boil when the vapor pressure become equal to the atmospheric pressure. Become equal to the atmospheric pressure. Our external pressure. Now the normal atmospheric pressure is 101. 0.325 kilopascals and the vapor pressure of the mixture of water and phenyl amine is 101.37 unaweza kaona kwamba 
Normal atmospheric pressure ni na moja point tatu, mbili tano. Kati ni miyamonja na moja point tatu, saba. Hii temperature kumbuka ni tisina nane. Haijafika boiling point of water. Haijafika boiling point of fenari amine. Unawon? Haijafika boiling point of fenari amine. Haijafika boiling point ya water. Lakini ni, 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 ni pressure mboni kubwa. So, final nacho kusema ni kwamba. Hii mixture itaboili at temperature which is lower than the boiling point of the pure liquids. This means the liquid mixture would, would need a temperature less than 98 degrees Celsius. Is less than that of the boiling point of pure water, which is 100 degrees Celsius, and much lower than the boiling point of pure phenyl, amine, which is 184 degrees Celsius. Kwa hiyo, boiling point of this liquid mixture, itakuwa nindogo kuliko boiling point of... Itakuwa nindogo kuliko boiling point ya zire nyingine. So, steam distillation now, steam distillation, having already understood about the, the concept of boiling point of the liquids, tunaenda kudiscuss kuhusu concept of steam distillation. Steam distillation is the technique used for purification of organic liquids. Technique used for purification of organic liquids, which are volatile and immiscible with water by using steam. So, they are volatile, also they are immiscible with water. The impure organic liquid containing non-volatile impurities, impure organic liquid containing non-volatile impurities, is mixed with water and heated by passing steam into it. So, unachukua eh, organic liquid yambao ni impure, impure ilio kwa ina, ina waste, toka hapo tuna, una heat water, kushia heat water, unapitisha vapor. Kwa unapitisha vapor, manake ni kwamba ile liquid ita evaporate, iki evaporate, tutapata nini? Iki evaporate tutapata e, pure liquid ambayo impurities which are insoluble and non-volatile tumeziacha mlendani. So when the steam is blown through the mixture, water and the organic liquid turn into vapor. Water and the organic liquid turn into vapor. So the steam can be generated by heat or by heating water in the other flask or container. So tuna heat water kwenye another flask or container, tunaingiza steam kwenye solution. Lakini it is also good to heat the the flask so uh, the hot steam passing through the mixture it condenses by releasing heat so in a condensed cook release heat this heat will be enough to boil the mixture of water and organic liquid provided that the volume of the mixture is not too large like in also it is suggested to heat it is suggested to heat the distillation flask as well distillation flask as well to avoid using too much steam that a large amount of steam will be will be condensed as well resulting to large volume of the liquid in the distillation flask lakini ukitumia eh uh, ukitumia ukitumia steam alafu uka heat na ile distillation flask inakuwa rahisi kuweza ku evaporate hizo mixes zako kwa rahisi so tunachokisema eh uh, tunachokisema ni kwamba the vapor formed after passing steam or even heating after passing steam or even heating into the distillation flask, it then condensed that the collected in the collector flask. So, kwa sabu water na hiyo organic liquid, they are immiscible. Uko takuja kupata ni water pamoja na organic liquid. Impurities taziacha mle kwenye distillation flask. Kwa niya yetu kubwa ni kuseparate, kupata pure organic liquid. So, water and organic liquid tutazifanya tu, eh, tutafanya tu, tutangalia funnel, then funnel tuetumia kusapayeti zombili. So, the collected vapor will consist of both water and organic liquid. Collected vapor will consist of both water and organic liquid. Because both water and organic liquids are immiscible, kwa sabu zote ni immiscible, they form a layer which can be separated easier by separating funnel to get pure organic liquid. To get pure organic liquid. Kwa hiyo, the impurities which are non-volatile component remain in the distillation flask. Kwa hiyo, kwenye hii dagla munozo kaona kwamba, tuna, kwa tuna, tuna water umu, water na ingiza hapa, tuna water umu. Tuna heat water. Tuki heat water na toa steam inaenda, inaingia kwenye hii hapa, round the bottom the flask. So, hii hapa, steam ikiingia, steam ina condense na release heat. Hiyo heat inafanya eh, water pamoja na organic liquid is toke zingia wapi huko kwenye district. Kwa hiyo hapa pia tuna supply heat nyingine. Kuna heat inayotokana na steam, kuna heat nyingine hapa. 
huku utakuwa na water in na water out ili kuweza kukuru hichi kitu kije kuwa ku distillate unaona kwa hiyo ku distillate will contain water and organic liquid lakini zile non volatile impurities tutaziacha hapo kwa sababu gani zenyewe hazizi kuwa mvuke non volatile impurities so at the end of the day this immiscible mixture tuta separate kwa kutumia eh, separating funnel separating funnel tutapata pure organic liquid and pure water so steam distillation is done in preference to ordinary distillation in the following cases or in the following reasons why tunafanya steam distillation kwa nini mazingira gani ya turuhusu tufanye steam distillation mazingira gani ya turuhusu tufanye steam distillation mazingira gani ya turuhusu tufanye steam distillation au yana to force kwanza eh, tunafanya steam distillation for purification of an organic liquid when impurities are difficult to be removed by another method kwa tukiwa tuna organic liquid which is impure and the impurities they are difficult to be removed by other methods it is better to use steam distillation and number two, uh, when the given impure compound is decomposed at high temperature impure compound ikiwa decomposed at high temperature manake hatuwezi tukahiti organic compound yenyewe tunatumia nini steam then must be steam distillation at temperature lower than its boiling point so steam distillation tutusaidia kwa sababu tuta tutaifanya hiyo hiyo liquid evaporate kwa temperature ambayo ni lower than its boiling point number two steam distillation saves in separating organic acids from other non volatile component in it hiyo pia inafana tu na ile ya kwanza so characteristics of the compounds for steam distillation is it is required conditions or reasons why do we perform steam distillation but you have the characteristics of the organic uh, compound for steam distillation kwanza uh, the organic liquid must be miscible with water miscible with water lakini like pili vapor pressure of organic liquid at temperature close to 100 should be greater than that of water vapor pressure organic liquid azime iwe kubwa kuliko ile ya water katika temperature ambayo ni karibia na 100 labda 98 99 96 tatu the molecular mass of liquid to be steam distilled should be larger compared to the molecular mass of water compared to that of water na namba 4 boiling point of an organic liquid must be greater than the boiling point of of water so is characteristics is characteristics they are sometimes called the conditions of a compound to be steam distilled conditions of a compound to be steam distilled do is characteristics liquid lazima iwe miscible with water then a vapor pressure lazima iwe kubwa kuliko ile ya water molecular mass iwe kubwa kuliko ile ya water lakini pia boiling point lazima iwe kubwa kuliko ya water so in a miscible mixture of two liquids the liquid do not mix so that each liquid component of solution mixture exert its own vapor pressure independently tumesha discuss kwenye introduction so generally in steam distillation the organic liquid is mixed with water which is boiling point is 100 therefore organic liquid will boil at temperature lower than 100 organic liquid it a boil katika temperature ambayo ni lower than 100 lower than 100 so steam distillation is particularly is particularly used for purification of organic liquid purification of organic liquid such as phenylalanine phenylalanine Finally, amen. Which decomposes at a boiling point lower than that of water, and in which it is ordinary distillation is not possible. So, kufanya a separation ya uyo finally amen from its waste or impurities, it is impossible, rather than by using steam distillation. Kwa hiyo, kwenye session na fata ta tangali a relative amount of organic liquid in the water, relative amount of organic liquid and the water kwamba kuna kwa kuna proportion kiasi gani ya organic liquid na water tangalia calculations mbalimbali kwenye upati calculations mbalimbali tutaangalia solve the example mbalimbali so just stay tuned session inafuata tutaendelea na hicho kipengele thank you